Hey, how's it going? This is your Daily Sweet Talk for September 14th, 2023. Uh, let's see what's in the news. This is a news show now, apparently. It says here, <laughs> right on this screen I'm looking at, uh, Bill Willingham? Let me look at an actual screen. The creator of Fables uh, has uh, entered it into the public domain. Yes, Bill Willingham. Um, I'm a big fan of Fables, the, the comic series. It's a comic series based on uh, fairy tales uh, in, in the public domain. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? Whoa. I, I wasn't even talk, wanting to talk about this because I was thinking about it this way, but this is interesting, actually. Fables is about fairy tale characters that are in the public domain in the public domain like they are among us <laughs> they are wolves among us the big bad wolf among us that's how most people know the series is through the telltale game i guess i hadn't heard of it until that seems like a lot of people know of it because of that did i just open a video on my phone that's weird didn't even have it open the phone um uh that was how i discovered the series um, it's a prequel, so it is a good introductory to the series, but I think, uh, the comics, um, uh, it's good to, it's, it's good to read the comics afterward. I think it's, it, it gives you a greater appreciation of, um, I think, I think the game is, is a good introduction, but like the comic does a lot more with, um, the, the elements of this, what they're doing. It plays with them a lot more. Um, it's interesting for it to be... I guess it's in the public domain because Bill Willingham was having a dispute with DC, who owns Vertigo, which is what publishes Fables. I didn't know. I didn't look into this. Um, but, but I guess Bill Willingham was just like, fine, let's put it in the public domain now. And I've talked probably a lot about copyright and public domain on my podcast, Being Mr. Boop. Because it has a lot to do with uh, that sort of thing. No conclusive stuff. Just kind of. I don't. I don't know. I don't have any conclu conclu conclusions about um, public domain and copyright and all that. Um, but f fables is. You fables utilizes public domain characters. That's what it's all about. Um, I feel like that has to be part of the... Re I, like, obviously, it's stemming from this dispute with DC, but I feel like it is a pretty unprecedented move, I think, for a creator of this s series to just be like, whatever, it's just public domain now. But it makes sense that of, out of all series, it would happen with Fables because it's already all public domain stuff. Now, it, the series itself obviously wasn't public domain because it's new takes on the characters like disney's beauty and the beast isn't public domain even though beauty and the beast is public domain but now the beauty and the beast from fables are public domain i don't know how like i would think telltale owns the rights to like i'm sure there's going to be some weird copyright stuff maybe bill willingham just has all the rights to the characters telltale made but i feel like there's probably going to be some weird copyright stuff with like um Ichabod Crane, for example, was a character, was a take on that character they made for Wolf, The Wolf Among Us, uh, who was not in the comics. I haven't read all the comics. I really do want to reread them because um, it's been a while since the last time I was reading them, so I would need to start over. But it's probably is one of my favorite series, um, and I would recommend it. Uh, so I... And... <laughs> It's also interesting that this would be happening, um, not right before, but before Telltale can release Wolf Among Us 2, finally, um, after all of these years of development and the company shutting down, um, and then, they're, well, it's going to finally be uh, published again, eventually at some point, and now at this point, anyone could make a Wolf Among Us 2. You could make a Wolf Among Us 2 if you had the resources. Um I don't know if we're going to really... This isn't like a Winnie the Pooh uh, th thing or anything like that. I don't think we're going to see much come out of this. But maybe, maybe we will. Maybe we'll see like a big studio Fables adaptation. That'd be cool.